Howdy folks, Kevin here. I have another WebDriver IO video for you today, this time talking about slowing things down. Why would you want to slow things down? Well, I'll show you a quick example. I have a demo website here. This is the website that I'll be using for my upcoming book on learning WebDriver IO. And on it, if I refresh the page, very quickly, you'll see it said loading articles very uh, shortly. Now, when you're writing tests, what can happen is you want to make a quick assertion on the page. So say we want to get the number of articles on the page. Well, if we run our test, what we'll find is that our test will run too quickly. It won't wait for that loading articles to disappear, and it will not find any articles because they haven't loaded at that point in time. So what we want to do is slow our test down and wait until those articles have shown to run our test. Now I've switched over to my test here. Um, it's just a basic test. It goes to that URL using WebDriver IO. Uh, I will get all the articles on the page that have a data queue, a type attribute of article preview. Let me jump back to the browser and show you where that comes from. So in the HTML, there's an attribute data QA type article preview. I actually added that myself so that I can easily select that specific type of element and not have to worry about it being changed by any style changes or anything. Back to the test. So we get all of the elements that match. In this case, there's only one. And we're going to expect that number to be one. So we'll get all the elements. We'll get the length of the number of elements returned because this is articles is an array and we're going to expect it to have a length of one. If I save this and run it, you see I have some commented out code. We'll get to that in just a minute. But if I go to my terminal and I run my code, it'll pop up the browser, load the site, and you probably didn't see it, but very quickly it showed you that page that had that uh, loading articles, and you see that it failed because it expected my empty array to have a length of one but instead got zero. Now, a common approach to this is just to wait one second or a thousand milliseconds. If I run that and wait for it to go through, you see it pauses here, and now the articles have loaded and everything is great. So this is an option, but it's not a very good option. And the reason for that is if you're running your test on a browser that's a little bit slower, then this wait isn't gonna be long enough. Now, we'll talk about how to avoid that by using this wait for exist line. But first, I want to show you a way to temporarily slow things down. Well, one of the issues that we want to get to before actually writing this wait for exist is I need to know what element I need to wait to disappear. So I go back to my demo website, and I want to get that element that's on there. I don't see it in here, but if I refresh the page, oh, oh, oh I'm trying to inspect that element that says loading articles and it just disappears too quickly. So how can I have it stay there long enough for me to select it and figure out what that element is that I need to wait for it to disappear? Well, Chrome Developer Tools has a little trick up its sleeve. If you go to the options under more tools and you go to network conditions, you can actually slow down the speed of your network. So here we don't have any throttling, so it works absolutely fast. We can disable the cache. That's always a good idea. Well, I'm not gonna do it here, but what else we can do is they have these presets. So we have fast 3G, slow 3G, offline completely, and then we can add a custom one. I've actually added a custom one for my my day-to-day -day use. I don't have it in this browser, but I do have a custom one that's just really obscenely slow. It's almost offline, but not quite. And the reason for that is I don't want the request to immediately time out. I want them to slowly time out. But in this case, it's okay if they immediately time out. So I'm gonna set it to offline and I'm going to refresh the page. And you see now it says loading articles. If I go to my network tab and close that network condition, you see everything kind of failed to load. So this isn't gonna change. Uh, and that's because this website doesn't have any error handling. It doesn't check to see if the request failed, but that's okay because that works to our advantage. I can now inspect this loading articles and see that I have a data QA ID of article loading indicator. And um, that's pretty good. So I can now jump back to my test and you see I can say, I'm gonna wait for that data article loading indicator, wait for it to exist, basically the opposite here. When I pass in true, it says, don't wait for it to, to exist, wait for it to stop existing, that sort of thing. 
But before I do that, one thing I want to show off is another ability that you have in Chrome when you run your test through Chrome that, you know how I said this browser pause of 1,000 seconds worked? Well, that same network condition tab that we had over here, we can access through this command called set network conditions. Now, this is only available in a few browsers, Chrome being one of them. But if I comment that code out in my configuration file, in my before hook, I'm going to say set my network conditions to be kind of crappy. It's going to take 2,000 milliseconds for every request to start going through. And then it's going to have a 450 megabyte per second throughput, which is actually pretty fast. The main thing I'm, I'm worried about right here is the latency. I just want the initial request to be a little bit slow. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to run my file again. And we're going to watch how slow it is to load our test. Initially, you see it's taking a bit more time. Now it is taking a fair amount of time to load the page, a lot slower. There's our articles. Oh, it failed. Oh, no. What happened? Well, that code that we had just a second ago, this browser pause, no longer works because it's just too slow. So what we would have to do is increase this pause to 5,000. And every time we run our test, we're going to have a five-second delay waiting for this to work because we need to make sure that even if the network conditions are a little bit slow, that it still works. Overall, that's a really crappy solution because you can never have that too high. Your network can always be a little bit slower and a little bit slower, and you keep on increasing that pause, and you keep on increasing it, and then you have these super long tests that run way longer than they should. So let's just get rid of that and add this wait for exist back in there. Now, if I save it and run this one more time, the website is going to load slowly, just like before, but because we're waiting for a specific element to stop existing, then the, web, then the test is going to take just as long as it needs to take. You probably didn't even see that the, the loading text disappeared. I didn't see the loading text dis disappeared. I wasn't really paying attention. I was talking. But it took just the right amount of time, not one millisecond too long. Well, maybe a millisecond too long. Not one second too long, which is the key. We can waste a few milliseconds here or there, but wasting seconds in our test is definitely something we don't want to do. So once again, we have the wait for exist. That's uh, something I talk about a lot, but something I've recently figured out, or recently learned of is this set network conditions. Pretty cool. You can look that up on the WebDriver IO API page. Just search set network conditions. You'll find it there. And also in your Chrome developer toolbar, you go again, you click the options, more tools, network conditions, and you can set that network throttling to whatever you want. Just make sure you don't forget to turn it back to no throttling when you're done working on it. Otherwise, none of your websites are going to load and you're going to be kind of confused and all that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick tip and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.